In this GIMP tutorial, we'll be making some simple glowy text on a cool sort of grungy textured background like this. So let's get started. Create a new image. Mine will be 600 by 400 pixels. Then change your foreground color to a nice dark color like this. You can try a different color if you want, but you'll definitely want it to be a very dark color. So get your paint bucket fill tool and just click on your layer to fill it in with that color. Next we're going to add some textures to our image. So um, you're going to want to go to this website called Lost and Taken where it's a blog where this guy posts a lot of free textures that he takes pictures of himself. Um, so they're very cool textures, very high quality, very large images. You're going to want to download at least one of these images and save it on your computer or you can just copy it and paste it right into GIMP. But uh, I'll have a link in the description by the way. I already have some saved on my computer so I'm going to go to File, Open as Layers, and open this texture. It's a very large image, so I'm going to go to Layer, Scale Layer, and make it a more reasonable size. But you can see it's kind of uh, oriented vertically, so I'll also go to Layer, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees clockwise so it fits the shape of my canvas, and then I'm going to move it. First I'm going to actually set the Layer's Mode to Divide, and then you can see how it's going to um, add texture to our background, and then you can use your move tool to position it however you want. Then duplicate the layer to make the texture more pronounced. Next we're going to add another texture from the same site, but a different page, different pack of, this time, coffee stain textures. I think this is the one that I'm going to be using. So you're going to need another one of these. Um, I'll have this one saved on my computer as well, so I'll go to File, Open as Layers and open this second texture. Again, it's very big, so layer, scale layer. And I think I'll leave it positioned right there, but I'm going to go to Colors, Levels, and drag this end down to make the image a lot brighter. So you want it to be to the point where it's pretty much like white in the background. And then set the layers mode to multiply. That just adds a little more texture to the image. Next, make a new layer. Set your foreground color to black. And for this step, you're going to need some splatter brushes. If you don't already have any splatter brushes, you can um, download a pack of splatter brushes that I made. I'll put the link in the description. Or you can click this annotation right here and um, view my tutorial on how to make your own splatter brushes in GIMP. But my uh, pack of splatter brushes will include all seven of these splatter brushes that I have right here. So once you have some of your own splatter brushes or the ones that I made, or even some splatter brushes from anywhere else, go ahead and um, just brush some splatters on your image. You're going to have a couple of different ones so that you don't have to repeat the same shape too many times on your image. So yeah, you just want something like that to fill the majority of your layer. And then set the layer's mode to soft light and lower the opacity to 40%. Next, make another new layer. And set your foreground color to black and bucket fill the layer and set it to dodge. And get your paintbrush tool again and change your foreground color to white. Keep these splatter brushes but lower the opacity to about 40 and make the scale even smaller like maybe 0.2 and just brush some spots in the center area using a couple different brushes once again um, just to add some kind of little splattery highlight shapes. You don't need to do too much, but you'll want to focus it kind of in the most of the center area of the image. After that, make another new layer. Fill it with black again and set it to dodge. Then change your foreground color back to white. 
and um, change your paintbrush to the largest fuzzy brush, increase the scale to the max, and lower the opacity to about 20. And then just click um, some places around in the center of your image to highlight it. You can do some more towards the edges as well. This kind of helps bring out some of the details of the texture. Then you can also um, decrease the scale, maybe make this opacity a little bigger, and add some more focused highlights on spots that you want to draw more attention to. You don't want to click too many times in the same spot though, or else you'll get a bright spot like that, which doesn't really look very good for this image. So you don't need to do a whole lot, just kind of add some nice little highlights to make the image more interesting to look at. I think that's pretty good. And that's pretty much it for the background. So next we're going to add the text. So grab your text tool, make sure your foreground color is still white. And the font I'll be using is the same font that I used in a previous tutorial. I'll put the download link in the description if you want to use it. And I'm going to use a size of 125 pixels so it fills up more of my canvas. I'm also going to increase this um, spacing between the letters to 20 pixels. Then click on your canvas and type your text. Next grab your alignment tool, change this drop down to image. Click on your text and press these two buttons to center your text. Then duplicate your text layer, right click on the top one and choose layer to image size. Then go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and increase this radius to 10. Next, uh, press this box, click this box to lock the alpha channel of that blurred layer, and change your foreground color to a light blue like this. And use your Bucket Fill tool, click Fill Hole Selection, and fill in your layer with that blue color, and then set the Layers Mode to Screen. You can also duplicate the layer, maybe lower the opacity of the duplicate a little bit to make the um, glow a little stronger. Now we just have a couple more finishing touches, so add a new layer. Make your foreground and background colors white and black. Get your blend tool, change the shape to radial. Click at about the middle of your canvas and drag to the, one of the corners. Set the layers mode to soft light and lower the opacity to about 60. That just darkens up the edges a little bit and highlights the middle a little more. Then go to Layer, New From Visible, and then Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and increase the radius to 20. Set this layer's mode to Screen, and you can see that makes our image very glowy. That's way too strong, so lower the opacity to about 20. So it's a subtle change, but I think it helps. Then go to Layer, Move from Visible, and Filters, Enhance, Sharpen. Increase this to about 20 or maybe 30, just to sharpen up all the texture in the background to really bring out those nice details. And yeah, that's the end result. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching.